Hello guys, so today we are going to make video on transport incubator. Basically this is nothing but Phonix make new transport incubator. Now we are going to install this incubator. I will tell you how to operate this transport incubator, how to install, what basic precautions we have to take while using of this incubator. Now see, this is nothing but base of the incubator in which they have provided come close. This is nothing but heater assembly. This is nothing but fan, with help of fan. That fan will release the air and that the air has to be passed through the heater and it get heated and that has to be passed towards the baby. And this is nothing but control panel they have provided. On control panel you can observe, this is the, it will give you battery status, it will give you uh, external DC or AC. This is nothing but standby, power on. They have provided one lamp, to on off lamp you have to use this switch. This is nothing but alarm, right? And uh, this is nothing but connection to connect the temperature probe right and here you will get the actually incubator temperature now we'll start the installation procedure now at the starting we have to just fix this base plate controls see while fixing the base plate you have to take care of this air temperature probe now these four screws they have provided just try to match these screws fix it properly Right, tighty. So this is the place exactly where you are going to keep baby. What is the use of this transport incubator? When some babies are serious, they are in ICU, suppose they want to transport for the OT and other things. So for that we are using this shifting transport incubator. After that, this is nothing but upper corner of this incubator. You have to keep it like this. Right? Properly. They are provided this. Locking panel. Uh, one minute I will uh, like to tell you this. Uh, air and right? Yes. Yeah. It is always don't make this mistake. It is always from the inside. Otherwise, it will get cut. Right? It will be from the inside. And then you will just keep it. And after that, just make it lock. Okay. Uh, now it get locked. Okay. After that, they have provided oxygen cylinder to transport belly with the from here. Now see, they have provided one minute. They have provided these two slots, right? These two slots in which you can install the oxygen cylinder. See this. Just see. In this way, you are going to keep this oxygen cylinder. They have provided this regulator to provide oxygen to the baby. Now how to fix this regulator, come close, see this is the knob actually to on off the cylinder that means to release the oxygen or stop the oxygen. How to fix it, you can observe, see for the cylinder also you can make it lock, at the bottom side they are giving the cylinder lock mechanism, see you can observe these two knobs right and for this also they have given these two knobs right. How to fix it? It is these two probe should be inserted in this hole, right? So just insert it like this and fix it. Okay, and after that, with help of this, tight it. Tight it properly. Once you get tight properly, with help of this, you can open or close the cylinder right now they have provided these openings high pressure oxygen low pressure oxygen now this is nothing but suppose low pressure oxygen you just connect one to here and just insert it with help of this opening and just keep here only right just we have to keep here okay. inside the right yeah and after that don't forget to just close it so it will get wrapped that means there is no uh, exhalation of oxygen from the incubator come this side after that see here they have provided this control panel for what purpose for uh, what we can say that warm up purpose right so for that come here. right this is nothing but external dc source suppose you are going to transport baby in the ambulance that time you can give power from this side this is nothing but main on off switch and this is nothing but AC power source. 
Now suppose we are going to make the connections. We connect the air probe here. Infant temperature. Sorry, this is nothing but infant temperature probe. While connecting this temperature probe, always remember that they have provided one notch here. Try to adjust that notch, right? And after that, just rotate it into anti-clockwise direction, it will get fixed. They have provided one opening here. With help of this, you just insert this probe. And that probe, we have to attach to the baby. Always remember, this probe, you have to attach to the baby's skin. So it will sense the baby's temperature and accordingly your warmer will be work out. Now just I am going to switch on the warmer. Now it will be operate on the battery. Now once you get switch on, see, now it operate on battery. Now in standby mode, yeah it is under the standby mode, it will not give you any output. Now we have to make it power. Right? Why? It gives one alarm AC power cell because we have not given an AC supply that's why it has given AC power cell alarm. Right? Now it's low temperature and all that thing. See? Again, to mute, you have to press here alarm mute. Suppose you want to on the lamp, just press it. Right? With help of this, you can also the movement of baby. Right? After that, this is nothing but set temperature. Right? Suppose I want to increase or decrease temperature. With help of this knob, you can increase or decrease the temperature and set it. Okay, so what is the temperature you have set? You can set with help of this knob, and what is the temperature inside the incubator? It will observe here. If temperature will be beyond the limit, machine will give you alarm. If temperature is below the limit, machine will give you alarm. One more thing, this is nothing but air. This is nothing but air uh, temp, uh, air uh, air probe right so you have to keep it like this always so it will sense the air temperature and how to open it see just push it it will get open right so this is nothing but basic operation of the transport incubator thank you